So now we are going to learn a little bit about string concatenation. String concatenation more or less is adding strings together and using variables within strings. And then we have the odd occurrence of when we have, you'll notice our age variable here, being equal to 17, an integer, uh, using integers in strings as well. Now that can't traditionally be done, but we can actually force it to do so with a uh, particular method we are going to use. So, we have some information here. Hello world, 17, and Alexander. Well, we know Alexander's 17 years old, so let's go on ahead and make a string where we demonstrate that. So first, let's start simple. So let's do this, print, and then parenthesis with quotation, and then we'll just say Alexander is plus, and then we'll just say 17, okay? So this is the simplest way we can do something like this if we're adding two strings together, basically. Um, it just says Alexander is 17, and I accidentally put a space in there that shouldn't belong there, so let's run that again. So cool, Alexander is 17. Uh, how else can we do this? We could do it like this, print name plus is 17. Click run run module so we get the same output but notice this time we used our variable in our string and the reason why this cooperates well is because Alexander is already in quotations it is a string and it's not a number so we're allowed to just conventionally say name plus and then another string and it adds together now notice when you add strings you're using the addition operator right here so everything you want to add uh, we're going to use a plus sign. So let's get a little fancier here. So print, and then we'll do name, plus age. Now I'm not going to click uh, go ahead on this because it's not going to work. And actually I'll just show you why it won't work. So let's do run module. Now notice it says str not int to string. Um, basically the issue is because this is equal to an integer, it's not going to allow you to, to actually concatenate it together with other things. So the way we fix this is str being wrapped around age, and so that converts it to a string. So now if we run module, it just says Alexander 17. Now we can make that look better, so let's go on and do that. Let's just get rid of the, hel the hello world while we're at it too. So we can do print Alexander plus that so let's do plus is plus str age so we're converting age into a string okay so let's just put a note here and we'll put str wrapped around an integer variable will convert an integer to a string cool so let's click run run module and you'll notice it says Alexander is 17 awesome and I didn't put a period at the end of that but if you wanted to add that boom <laughs> there you go and it's it's correct right so we can do run now and there we go it's finished so we have three different entries of the same thing except now um, we are using the number itself and we converted that to a string so we can make this look even better probably so we could do like stuff like hello and then space plus name plus so that will say hello Alexander and then we'll do you are plus string age that's going to say you are 17 plus period. So hello space right here to make sure it makes grammatic sense because you'll notice when we add our name variable, there is no space here and there's no space there. So because we don't want it stuck together, we got to add the spaces where it makes sense. So hello, Alexander, you are, and then we have our converted integer here to a string. So that's going to come out as a string. You are 17. 
and then we have our period at the end. So notice there's a plus here, a plus here. If you get rid of one of those, let's say you forget one, it's gonna say perhaps you forgot a comma. So if that happens to you, just keep in mind, that's probably something you did somewhere along the way. So that should work just like that. Hello, Alexander, you are 17. So that's how you add strings together, convert an integer to a string so you can add it together into it as well, and how you concatenate things and begin working with things. So in the next video, we are going to talk about how we can do this, but now we're going to accept some user input so we make it a little more interesting and interactive with the user.